Man, there's actually a smoking chick just walking down the sidewalk right now. This is actually a pretty good time, I think. <laughs> man, I love brunette girls. I like blonde. Like I love blondes and brunettes equally, but man, like I love a brunette. I, I don't know. Anyway, what's, up, what's going on, guys? Trout four here. Uh, apparently, we're talking about girls today, uh, but no, that is not the story today. So, I'm kind of picking up from the last story time. Uh, talking about like playing junior A in Ontario with the English River Miners and the SIJHL, um, and so today I kind of want to talk about uh, the Western Hockey League, right? And so. Um, for those of you guys who do or do not follow the social media, uh, like many, many years ago, like we're talking, I think, 2013, so it's 17, so four years ago, almost a little bit more than four years ago, uh, I was in camp in the Western Hockey League with the Prince George Cougars, and that was, for me, probably one of the peaks of my career. I, I'd like to say, even though it was only a tryout and in camp, I'd like to think that that was probably as, as far as I'd gone in my career at that point, and still to this day, and one of the highlights of it. And it was kind of an interesting story how I came up with that. So, um, it kind of started off actually in high school that year. I was in grade 11, and uh, I just played my first year AAA actually at 16, which is a whole other story. I mean, I was a little bit of a late bloomer. And uh, so, for school, uh, I'd been talking to a counselor for a while about like electives and stuff, or, like what courses I wanted to take and what would be best for like. Bro, turn your phone off. Have some respect for the videos. It's my alarm, buddy. It's your alarm for what? For work? Sure. Shit, son. Um, but yeah, so anyway. Um, so yeah, so a counselor through uh, school talking about like what electives I wanted to take and like which ones were the best choices for like for my career path because I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about or what I wanted to do at the time. And I remember one day I walked into his office and I was wearing my AAA sweater, right? Uh, and it's, it's noticeable, it's like a, a Blackhawks logo, it's got Triple A on it, it's like you, you know locally what team it is, right? And, and he says to me, uh, he's like, oh, you play Triple A? And I said, yeah, I do. And he's like, oh, well, uh, are you any good? And I was like, well, I don't know, play Triple A, it is what it is. And he's like, well, I'm one of the scouts in the Western Hockey League. I said, oh, sweet, well, for who? And he's like, the Portland Winterhawks. And in my head at that time, it did not click into my head that maybe I could talk to him and kind of see if, like, I can go out with the Portland Winterhawks. I was just like, this is kind of cool. Like, I want to pick this guy's brain a bit. And I kind of did for a bit, you know, like, just talking about, like, the league and that kind of stuff. And then, uh, I think after talking for about, like, two or three weeks, I kind of asked him, I was like, you know, would you be able to, uh, you know, get me a tryout or something? Like, maybe get me to camp or something. And he's like, well, I'll try. Send me some footage. I'll, I'll talk to the managers and stuff, like the GM and the head coach and see what we can do. And I guess that they're full for spots. And I think at this point it was about, like, mid-June-ish, so like a couple days before my 18th, or no, before my 17th birthday. Um, and he's like, well, I'll, I'll keep a secret here, but like I have contact information for every scout in the league. If I give this to you, you know, don't tell people I gave it to you, but you can use it. And I said, well, thank you so much, right? And so I legitimately hit up every single general manager, scout, and head coach email that he gave me in the league, in the Western League. And I think, like, I think they have like 20 teams in the league. I think it's like four divisions, five teams per. So we'll say 20 teams. I hit up everybody there. I tried to tell them like who I was, uh, where I'd played, what I'm looking for, what I want to do, what my training program was like. Just try, trying to like sell myself the best that I could um, for coming to camp. And most of them were like, okay, well, we're kind of interested. You have some footage. A bunch were like, no, we're full. That's it. We're only bringing a couple guys to camp because we, we know what direction we want to head with our organization for the future. And obviously, I told them, you know, thank you for, the, for responding first off and, you know, best of luck and that kind of stuff. But one of the scouts for the Prince George Cougars, he hit me up back and was like, uh, hey, Trav, like, I, I've seen you play. I, I've talked to your coaches before. I know who you are. Uh, awesome, send me any footage you have. And, and I sent him some footage, and we kind of chatted back and forth over email for a bit, um, for probably like, I'd say like a week or two. And he says, why don't we get together for coffee or something, me and your parents or whatever, and, and we can just talk shop. And I said, sure. So me and my, my mom, we go, and, and uh, we sat down, we had coffee with them, and we kind of talked shop about like what direction the organization is heading, where they want to go, what I want to do. And for me, my entire career, I've always wanted to, to do the best at any, anything and everything I do, whether it's YouTube, Working on the gym, which I'm about to go and do, which is why I'm in this douchebag cutoff shirt, um, or playing hockey. I've always wanted to do the best at, or be the best at what I do, right? And so basically, he said, okay, we'll, we'll get you an invite. So about a week later, I get an, uh, an email and I think a letter in the mail from the Prince George Cougars, like, here's our camp, here are our dates. Uh, obviously, the Western League, they don't charge for camp, so you just show up or whatever, just let us know are you coming or not. And so we we're good to go. And then I think about a month later, I got an email from 
uh, the, I believe it was the general manager or the president of the Prince George Cougars, and he says, hey, I know, uh, and I don't want to give the guy's name away, the scout that kind of got me there, he says, I know so-and-so fought hard to get you there and he got you a spot, we don't want to bring in a ninth gold tenure, we only, we only want to bring in eight, um, sorry, but best of luck. And, I, and at the time, I was like, you know, that, that, that fucking sucks, man. Like, I, you know, mentally, I invested myself so much to get myself to the next level to try to be there so much. You know, I'd already booked plane tickets uh, there, well, you know, my mom and I, to go there. And, you know, we, we canceled the plane tickets, and then it kind of hit me a couple of days later, and I was like, you know, like, fuck this, man. Like, I'm, I'm not going to work this hard to, to get this opportunity, have them take it away from me. And then just be like, okay, that's cool, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat it. Like, I'm, I'm a passionate guy. You know, like I said, no matter what I do, I care a lot about what I'm doing. So I hit up the, the scout. I hit up these people, and I was like, hey, like, I, I know that you don't want to bring a ninth person. This is what I'm doing. I'm laying it all on the line. This is what I want to do to try and be successful and to make your team. Now I'm telling you, if you give me a fair opportunity and with an open mind, you know. I will show you that I am the right fit to, to come and play for your team. And I may not make the team this year, but I will be damn close. And I think we, we talked over the phone. Uh, shit, my phone is going off. YouTube comments. Crazy. People are crazy on YouTube. Um, but, uh, well, yeah, I just told them, like, I, I want to come play for you. And after talking back and forth for like about a week, they said, okay, we'll reissue the in invite and you can come out. Sure. So I think, uh, so around August... I think it was like August 22nd or 23rd. I, I don't know why that, that day sticks in my head. Uh, 2013. So we go out, uh, do the fitness testing. The fitness testing, there wasn't much, honestly. Like when they said fitness testing, I expected to go into a gym, doing like a beep test, doing like all these crazy things. We legitimately did max push ups, uh, max sit ups, uh, vertical jump, and bench press. And that was it. I think it took like all of 10 minutes to do. Um, we got a shirt. Uh, shirts for uh, uh, like training camp and I don't know, I've worn a shirt in previous videos I think it just says Prince George Cougars training camp uh, 2000 whatever year it was and uh, yeah, that was that was pretty cool getting to keep that kind of stuff and I ended up losing the socks they gave me like the hockey socks but ended up going out I remember the first night uh, right before the game, the uh, the scout had talked to me. He came back and he was like, "Hey, how are you feeling?" I said, oh, "I'm, I'm feeling good. A little bit nervous, but kind of, but feeling good." And I laid a fucking egg. I think I gave up. Well, like we we had we had uh, done like an inner squad game, and I think I gave up like three goals in like half a half a game. Like it was it just wasn't very good. They were weak goals. I, I went back to the hotel room that night thinking about like how shitty I was and, and did I waste my time and, and mentally I kind of tried to wrap my head around like I'm here for a reason you know I, I went out I wanted I, I put all this effort and time over the last four or five months to prepare myself for this moment so let's go and let's regroup and let's try to go again right and it's kind of funny because at that moment I was thinking that the scout texted me and he says hey Travel, like, I, I know you kind of had a rough night tonight um, but don't let that bother you go out there and do your thing and the next day I went in there I think we had three inner squad games I think I gave one goal every time it was awesome, played well, and then I think the greatest memory of my career up until this point, like I, I haven't won a championship up to this point, I've never been on a winning team really, so this is kind of why this sticks out to me, but in my head, the greatest memory of my competitive career up to this point, uh, one of the players, uh, I believe his name was Zach Pachero, I think he's playing in the St. Louis Blues organization right now in the AHL, but he was drafted and signed at that point in time. We were up, I think, 4-3 or 5-3 in that game. And uh, he comes in on a breakaway with me, short, on me, shorthanded with about a minute left. He comes in, does a little bit of shake and bake. And uh, he went low glove, full splits, windmill glove save. Uh, all the fans that were in the arena kind of really enjoying that. And I, I know uh, I was definitely enjoying that. And that was, to this moment, probably the highlight of my competitive playing career. Um, and then kind of from there, did the same thing the next day. And then... Last game, I think uh, I think I led in like two soft ones, like one from like behind the net, and then one from like the slot or something like that. Um, but that was basically it. And then kind of sat down with the, the training staff or the the staff after, and they released me. You know, the, the normal stuff of you know you're not ready to play and that kind of stuff. And I was kind of rubbed the wrong way. I remember for for a very long time, I was really sour about it. You know, thinking like, and not just. You know, the, the Prince George Cougars in general in the Western League, but like junior A teams where I'd gone out, I invested myself, and you know, in my head, 
I thought that, okay, I've been screwed around by these guys and I should have been playing there. But well, kind of, as time has gone on, I've kind of learned, and, and I'm really good at it, or a lot better now than I was before, but like little shit like that, you, don't, you can't let it bother you, you know? Like, like you know, whether you, know, you get a scratch in your car, or, you know, you have a date with a girl and she bails last minute, or a team cuts you, or you know, somebody cuts you off in traffic, like the sooner you let, let go of that shit, you know, the easier life is gonna be, you know? The, you know, it's just so much less stressful. That's something that I found that I wish I would have learned uh, a couple of years ago when I was still at the point where I could have done something in my career. And I was never drafted. I was never this high-end prospect that, I don't know, like I get a lot of messages on like Instagram, like on the gram and on Twitter and people are like, hey, like, did you ever get drafted? Who are you drafted by? What team, what pro team are you gonna go play for after junior? Like, I was never this high-end prospect. I never have been. I played junior B hockey for a reason. I mean, I think I, I do well in the league that I play in, but I've, I've always tried to strive to be, to be better than what other people thought I was and, and be better than what I am. But that's kind of the story for today, guys, with the whole Western Hockey League. I mean, it was, it was fun. Definitely the highlight of my career. Um, but let me know. Do you guys want to hear more stories like this? I definitely got a lot more. I mean, I got loads and loads of stories from road trips with the boys on tournaments at AAA to road trips on, for, on a junior bus to uh, girls, you name it. I got loads of stories that I could probably unload on you guys for other story time videos. So leave a comment. Let us know what you want to hear next. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're going to try to put out new videos on a regular basis. We probably won't because we never follow through what we say. Um, but anyway, that is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again in the next video.